What's up guys, my name is Spencer, co-founder of Live Bearded. I'm here with my main man, Moose, J. Moose Barbershop here in Tempe, Arizona. And today, he's gonna do a beard trim on this big glorious beard right here. What would you like to be done? Uh, I just want it cleaning up, um, maybe take a little bit of the length off, just make it look a little fuller. Okay, uh, like about a half an inch, less than that, a quarter of an inch? A quarter of an inch, I'd say. Okay, how about right here? Um, what's, what's bothering you the most about it? I just like, to, I want it to look tight. Okay, so. all right. So just take it in a little bit on the side, a little bit here, about a quarter of an inch, a lot right here where it's going upwards. Okay. All right, and we'll go from there. Mustache, are we doing anything to the mustache? I don't think so, but I just clean it up. Clean it up, but you're gonna grow it? Yeah. All right. It's still going. All right, we'll go from here. All right, so I'm, right now I'm doing, taking some of the body off, you know, basically making it a little bit tighter. Taking off all the stragglers all over the place. Lift up your head just a little bit right there. And I'm really not, not taking it too deep in. I'm just taking all the stragglers off. I can do it with any machine. For example, I, I can do it with the trimmer right here. Same thing, just taking all the stragglers off. That's something that you can do at home with scissors maybe instead of a machine. That way you don't chop it off by mistake. So right here I'm gonna do the side of the beard basically. I'm gonna bring his head down, that way I can do go with the sideburn all the way down. Usually the sideburn, if he had, didn't have that much hair, it'll be straight down. Go down with the sideburn. So here's the sideburn, straight down, so it can give a 90 degree angle. This hair right here will grow again. It'll keep growing right here as long as you grow your beard. And of course, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Basically, there is a lot of, the beard hair grows in every direction, in every way. So by me combing it, I'm making sure I'm getting all the hairs that I need to get rid of. For example, I did a line right now, or I'm doing the line right now. Okay. And then now, I comb again just to make sure there's no straggler. Now the trick is not to overdo it and overtake too much hair. Alright, now we need to take some of the length a little bit just to make it a little bit stronger on the bottom so it's not, there's not much uh, stragglers or broken hair all the way on the bottom. So we're gonna start right here, probably about a quarter of an inch. So we raise his head up, we get the hairs that are on the bottom, that way we can take a little bit off And of course, there's a few ways you can do that. You can do that with the machine, or you can bring it down here and take it down with the scissors. A little more. 
at home, you're probably going to be more comfortable with scissors because it's slow moving, you know, you can control it more. And if you're trying to grow your mustache like this, try not to trim it. And do not trim these right here. There's a few stragglers that mm -hmm. you might have to, okay. but mostly you just leave them and just train them to go sideways. Okay. Whether it's to the left or to the right. And for your, in your case, you really don't have that much that needs to be trimmed. Okay. And the mustache is kind of tricky, you know, the, the, if you cut it the wrong way, you lose it. Yeah. I'm sure you've done that a few it's times. It's not so much cutting it, it's when you eat it, when you're having a sandwich. I got an idea for you. <laughs> Don't eat. Don't eat. <laughs> okay. So now right here, I'm taking the ones that are short, sticking straight out. Do you think we've taken off enough uh, for your mustache? I think so, yeah. Let's see if there's any stragglers on the bottom that we need to take off. And here's the trick. If you take too much off the bottom, the, the beard will become like this. You yeah, see what I'm saying? We don't want that. See what's happening is you have hair down there. Just mostly leave it down there, but just take down all the stragglers that bother you or look out of the way. See all that, all that grows up. So basically you bring it down, you try to just to take a little bit off of it, not much. If you take too much, then you have no body on the bottom. You cannot go too high with the neckline. See here's his Adam's apple right here right on it basically every person is different and every person likes to grow it a little bit more on the bottom a little bit less so the rule of thumb is right at the bottom's apple hey danny do you want me to shave the bottom with the blade yeah okay you got it just uh, getting the trailers. I mean, he's not cutting his hair, so we're just cleaning him up a little bit. I would like most of my customers when they walk out of here to look really good, no matter what they do. give him a perfect line on top basically take off the the hair that's uh, growing higher than his beard line and of course as much natural as we can so we don't want to take care of uh, any uh, off the body of his beard as natural as you can without digging into the beard Some people like it round, some people like it straight. I personally go with the natural beard line. And the beard sometimes dictates whether it's straight or round. It smells so really nice. good. 
Just so you know, this butter here is like a leave-in conditioner for the beards. Come on up. All right, so we just wrapped up. Danny got his beard cleaned up a little bit. We took a little bit of weight out of the sides, defined it, took some of the flyaway hairs down so they're a little bit more bulky, a little bit more dense or full through the ends. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you guys are in Arizona, anywhere at all, come swing by Jamie's Barbershop here in Tempe. We'll throw the link up. Okay, so if you have any questions or if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out. We have a lifetime warranty on everything that we do. Bottom line, we're here to help you guys however we can. So let us know how we can. And as always, live bearded brother. Hey.